instrumentation and measurement technique is a field that relates to systems that are bottom line measurements, physical quantities. These can be temperature, can be speed, forces. These are uh, basically skills that are involved in uh, building such instruments, designing them and testing them, optimizing them and even maintaining them. So by extension, instrumentation and measurement technique course focuses on teaching students how to design these systems, how to make them, how to optimize them, how to troubleshoot them, how to maintain them. So we would like to think that the course that we offer here at Lasan on instrumentation and measurement is unique. We've designed a course in collaboration with a company called Quanser, who is a global leader in engineering education. Our focus in this course is that we will learn the concepts by exercising them, practicing them, making real systems, and learning from those experiences. So the knowledge from this course can be applied to a very broad spectrum of engineering projects from the minute you open your eyes till you go to sleep and quite frankly even when you're sleeping. You are surrounded by instrumentation and measurement system. This can be the smart thermostat of your home, your smart home security system, your self-driving car, your smartwatch, your cell phone. Now, another thing that we have recently added to the course are machine learning and artificial intelligence. Learning these skills and concepts is very important to engineering students. First of all, these are foundational knowledge for most of engineering disciplines, specifically mechanical engineers. Another very important aspect of the course is uh, the training that you get on problem solving. So that's very important for your eventual role in the industry or job market. So eventually you're faced with problems that you have to solve. And in this course, you learn how to systematically approach the instrumentation problems, how to come up with solutions, how to design them, how to troubleshoot them, how to make them. Last but not least, this is a very important skill that can open a lot of doors for you, whether you want to do research and development as a graduate student or a company, an R&D engineer. I would say at the forefront is experiential learning is what basically bridges theory to practice. So you get to actually make that bridge when you're still at school. Another important facet of that is that when you end up actually making a system that is working very nicely, that uh, engages the students, students will end up being more motivated. It also results in better retention of knowledge when you actually do something, you're more likely to remember that, so you get to better internalize the concepts. So this course helps students to develop a deeper understanding of mechanical engineering by virtue of it being experiential. So to be able to deliver on the projects of this course, students really need to recall all these concepts and theoretical knowledge that they had in other courses and put them in action, put them in practice to be able to make a meaningful engineering instrumentation systems. Pretty much all the students that took the course were quite satisfied. And one reason is that the students can relate to courses that have some tangible outcomes, like when you build something and this system is working very nicely, that gives you satisfaction, gives you confidence.